Hello, everyone. I just wanted to send out a short message uh, thanking all of you who participated in the various required exercises last week. The discussion boards were, were wonderful. I want those to be a safe place for us to practice our, um, well, one, to share our experiences with Shakespeare, um, whether they were from the past, as, as last week required, um, or our perspectives on the current text that we're reading, like As You Like It, and considering what's funny and what's not so funny in this comedy uh, for this week. So uh, I really appreciate uh, all of the posts to the discussion boards, the way you're engaging with each other. And I really want to emphasize, you know, we don't always need to agree with each other. Um, several of you demonstrated uh, disagreement in a very respectful way. That's part of practicing assertiveness, right? Um, as, as long as we are, um, you know, acknowledging the possibility of someone else's perspective, but, but also um, uh, asserting what it is that we believe uh, and providing the support to back it up. Those are all really good things. Um, uh, the discussion boards were excellent. The footnote exercise. Uh, so I understand that that was kind of ushered out piecemeal. It created a little bit of confusion. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that uh, this week will be a little bit better. Um, I'm going. I'm going to um, give an opportunity to do a makeup footnote uh, during the uh, midterm week, uh, which will be around like week seven or eight for us for this semester. So, if you missed it for this uh, first week, um, then you'll have a chance to do it again at a later time. For those of you that uh, did do it uh, this week during week one, as you were supposed to. Um, you know, I'll, I, I'm happy to award you a couple of bonus points because uh, of the newness of it um, and because there was a little bit of confusion. But I do want to uh, say that uh, in, in general, I thought the footnotes were very good. If anything, they, they were produced at a very, very high level, um, higher than what I think you, you have to do uh, throughout the semester. While I think it's excellent that you are referring to literary criticism, and that is part of the spirit of the footnote, is to give us some context and to help us better understand what we're dealing with um, when we're reading the plays, um, to also provide us with uh, resources, like a list of articles that we could consult when we do our own research at the end of the semester. I don't want um, everyone to feel the pressure that they need to find literary criticism in order to do the footnote. Um, you can use the Oxford English Dictionary. I believe our Cerritos College Library uh, allows us access to that. Um, you can also use other references um, that Gail, uh, the, uh, that, that lit resource um, that I uh, put you in touch with um, in the um, description of the footnote exercise. and the, That's another one that we have access to. And um, the last one would be, you know, uh, quality encyclopedias, okay? Uh, we're just trying to give some basic information to help us understand, well, what is this concept that's appearing here? Um, so uh, one of the footnotes, um, the, the one that uh, Eduardo had talked about, brought up the chivalric code. That's excellent, right? What is the chivalric code? Well, you know, l let's see if we can find, you use Gale or... Um, uh, one of the encyclopedias to help us define what that is. Uh, the other one that I thought was pretty outstanding was Christie's talking about birth order and she brought up the term primogeniture. That helps us understand uh, that even within the family there is a hierarchy, right? Um, and this affected how land and property were distributed. So the conflict we see between Orlando and Oliver um, is uh, it's not only uh, based in a historical system, um, but we can see the personal consequences of that historical system. So that's what the footnotes are meant to do, to give us some context. Um, you can continue to use scholarly articles. I think that's wonderful, but I don't want you to feel that pressure using other um, sources that we can find on Gale, using references like encyclopedias, um, using textbooks we have that are relevant, um, that, that, that give good information, um, that, that works as well, too. Um, so uh, please keep up the great work with the footnotes. If you have questions or if something's not working on the website, sometimes that stuff happens, please contact me right away. Um, uh, I, I'm, I'm checking email pretty regularly, and uh, I, I will definitely uh, fix an issue 
um, uh, if I'm alerted to it, if I haven't caught it. Uh, as far as what to expect, right? So these first few weeks of the semester are really important because this is where we establish habits that carry us through. So get used to doing uh, three discussion board posts, uh, one original and two replies. All of them have to be on different days. Get used to doing the footnote assignment. That's not going away. And uh, the journal assignment. The journal assignment is going to be pr pretty much the same each week. Okay, so you can expect those three things on a weekly basis, the discussion board, the footnote, and the journal assignment. The last thing I wanted to say <coughs> is that uh, I will be posting uh, quiz questions. Um, I should say uh, pr uh, questions that you might see on the midterm, okay, questions that are based in kind of the facts of the um, of the lecture that I that I gave, like so. For this week, I posted some lecture materials on the conventions of comedy, um, and uh, these questions may also be based on, you know, uh, what happens in the play itself. Uh, so, ideally, each week I give you a set of questions that you should know the answers to. Um, some of those questions may appear on the midterm um, and the final exam. So. Uh, it's uh, be on the lookout for those uh, for those questions. They will be posted to the week two module, um, and uh, I would suggest that you know the answers to those questions. Knowing those answers will will be a good indicator of the quality of reading that you're doing. It'll uh, it'll focus your study as well. All right, this video went a little longer than I expected, but um, if I said anything that caused concern or raised some questions, please feel free to share those with me. Just send me an email. All right, I wish you well uh, as we continue to read uh, as you like it. This week we are focusing on Acts 2 and 3. Have a good week.